Hello everybody, welcome back to Decaffeinated Photography. I'm Josh, this is Alex over here. Today we're gonna to quickly go through 735mm film stocks we think you simply must try out to start your new year. Comment down below if you have a favorite film stock that you think we should uh, try and that we haven't put on the list. Obviously there's lots of them going around. These are just our favorites, but yeah. Well, let's get into it. Ag for Photo Vista Plus 400. This comes in at number seven on our list. Vista 400 is a fairly cheap consumer film which offers a certain lo-fi look that is perfect for some event photography as well as some casual street stuff. It has that film look, you know, that, that grungy grain, grain yeah, that yeah. hipsters love. Yeah, the hipster look. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, some sources say this film is a cut copy of the emulsion of Fujifilm Superior 400, but we can't know for sure. I think it's the cheapest one on our list and for like the value you get, it's like super cheap. I have personally enjoyed many great images from this film. I know Josh is a little more skeptical. I'm, I'm not really a huge fan of the Vista Plus. Uh, the positives, it is very cheap, and the negatives to it is, you know, the look of it. It's just not very clean, in my opinion. Yeah, it's uh, $9.99 on Amazon. Um, you know, you'd use it in like um, events, you know, stuff like that. You know, stuff that you don't think you'll get a good shot 100% of the time. Yeah, you know, kind of like a, a chill thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah taking it to a chill like uh, gathering, something like that. Coming in at number six, this is the first film stock we used on decaf. If you go back and look at our uh, AF35 ML, the I really, recommend you don't. The really cringe, <laughs> cringe video. Um, it is Kodak Pro Image 100. It offers lovely green and blue tones, outstanding color accuracy and saturation. Uh, some have suspected that it's Kodak Gold rebranded. It's good if you like taking portraits and shooting weddings, like the, the like the fancy stuff, you know? You want that good quality. Some websites say that it's no longer being manufactured. Some have quite early expiration dates. I don't want to give any wrong information. So if anybody knows, uh, just leave us a comment down below so we can find out. Um, down below. But if it is gone, um, you really want to get on it now in 2018 because it might be the last year that could, you can get it. It's yeah, discontinued. Maybe. I don't know. A little, uh, Little pro image there. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Ah. Number five. Number five is a uh, Ilford Pan 400. Uh, one of the cheapest in the black and white films. Quite hard to find, and is mostly sold in Asia and Eastern Europe. Uh, in order to purchase, you probably have to go online. We got it off eBay. Not often seen in Melbourne, to our knowledge. We took it to a film lab in Q, and the guy remarked that he's never seen it before. The images provided are quite flat, not extremely contrasty, but when the exposure is nailed, it is extremely smooth and very pleasant. It's got very fine grain. This cannot be developed under the C41 process and needs the traditional black and white development approach. If you're in Melbourne, your best bet is probably Michael's Camera House. We have got experience from Michael's. Uh, they did develop it for us because they have a black and white uh, scanner. That's very good. Develop, yeah. yeah. They're pretty, they're very good to deal with. I think this film offers quite an old timey aesthetic. I think it's great for street photography. We um, we shot a roll of it uh, when we went away, and it actually looks like we took it like 40 years ago. Yeah, that was fun. If you're looking for that, and you want to shoot black and white, then this is probably like a nice way to go. Yeah, if you like that old vintagey sort of fit look. Yeah. To your photos. You want to look like you're an old person. <laughs> Coming in at number four is the love of my life, Kodak Portra. Anything with the word Portra in it, I want it. And it could be a toilet. Want a <laughs> toilet. Want it. On a quick note, the portrait series was originally intended for portrait photography and weddings. So grain is extremely fine. And the images truly are incredible. It's widely regarded among the photographic community as some of the best and most pleasing emulsions going around. And it'll set you back around 860 on Amazon. We couldn't find, um, this is for the ISA 400, we couldn't find individual ones but we found a five pack. In at number three is something a little bit different to the rest of the list. It's a bit of a curveball. This is the color slide film. If there's one thing I can recommend when learning about analog photography, it is that you shoot slide film. Agfa Precisa. I think that's how it's said. Precisa? Precisa, yeah. Precisa. Precisa. Is the film stock I used in my first year of university and it's nothing short of spectacular. 
There's a reason why slide film is significantly more expensive than color negs, and it's because of their versatility. Yeah, Precisa captures your experiences with precision. Precisa, precision, yeah. precision, precision. It, pre it provides lovely color rendition, especially in the blues. Yeah, the blue, blue skies are really good. Hmm. It's good for cloudy skies as well. It really outlines the clouds, makes it re look really poppy and vibrant. The ability to go all retro and put it into a slide projector is also quite priceless. It's interesting. This will set you back $21.95 on Amazon, so I think it's the most expensive on our list. I may have some here. What? Whoa! <laughs> On to number two, Hillvale Sunny 16. This is something we picked up in a camera swap meet in Box Hill, which is where we live. We do live. Yeah. At the start of 2017. This, last year. Yeah, it actually is last year, <laughs> 2018 now. Ooh. Funnily enough, it is often suggested that the original motion, the that the original emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mean to say it. Funnily enough, it is suggested that the original emotion is Fuji Superior 400, much like Agfa Vista 400. But. They definitely don't look identical. That's a big butt. Sunny 16 has nicer tones and isn't quite as yellow, which we feel is a much nicer middle ground. Uh, it's definitely my favorite of the year. P.S. It's cheap. So before we get into... What are you doing? I'm grabbing this now. Before we get into... Wait, you actually have one? Yeah. Have you shot it? No. no. Before we get into number one, we have to give an honorable mention to Film Never Dies RRO 200 film. IRO. I-R-O. Yeah. I-R-O. I-R-O means colour. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. We haven't given this one a go yet since this, uh, as you can see, this is not opened yet. But we do have high hopes and it's always good to support your local film producers. Yeah, Hillvale and this one, Film Never Die. It's something we'll both be shooting extensively with in the coming year. Well, Film Never Die. We'll have the website up on the screen. Also, maybe like the link or something down below. It's got a bunch of amazing stuff as well as a coffee shop in the CBD where you can go in and just try out some cameras while you try a coffee. I walked in there last week and you know, they're so friendly and I just love it. It's a really nice atmosphere. So getting back on track, we're gonna end off with Cine Still 800. This is coming in at number one. Now apparently they modify Kodak motion picture cinema film so it can be developed under the C41 process. This is a tungsten based film and it performs wonderfully in low light. Tungsten based means that it, when you get a tungsten light, it renders it in neutral white. We like to call this a specialty film as it provides quite a cinematic look. I mean, their tagline is Cine Still brings the wonders of cinema film technology to the still photographer. Among the community, this film is well regarded and if you step into any film processing shop around, I'd hope that you'd see some great examples and raving reviews. The best results come from when you shoot like fluorescent lights. That really gets that cinematic look going and some of the examples uh, we'll show you here are just unreal. Like I can't really explain them. They started beta testing in 2012 and have become quite popular since. Apparently they uh, get backlogged once they release a new shipment, like immediately, because of how popular the film is. Mm. So there are limited resellers in Australia with dealers being listed as Film Never Die. Yet again. Oh, there you go. Ikigai Camera and Walkins House of Film. If you're in America, you can get it at B&H and Amazon, which lists it at $10.79 a roll. And it's some of the most expensive color negs on our list. Like that's our list? That's I our list. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I just want to wish everybody a happy new year. Put these on your bucket list for 2018. Give them a go. And chuck us a like if you used any of these on our list. And tell us in the comments which of these are your favorites. Or even if you don't like any of them, you know. Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, I mean, this is just our opinion and you guys have opinions too, so hit us with those. Hit us with those. Hit us with those. We welcome any conversation down below. Thank you and <laughs> see you later.